What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. So, today is going to be a video where I'm going to show you kind of a vlog style video about what I eat nowadays, because I'm still in a diet, uh, what I'm going to train, and why I pick certain foods. And, after this video, I want to upload the ultimate diet video so that you guys can understand why I make these choices and that video is going to be up very soon so then you will understand it all but today I have school normally I'm off on Monday but not today I need to do some project work basically some uh, research and work about uh, <coughs> nutrition for elderly people it's fun, you learn a lot about it, do a lot of research, know how to learn literature, how to read it, how to comprehend it, and uh, that'll uh, serve me well later in life, and especially now, I've been doing a lot of, um, especially now that I've been doing a lot of nutrition plans for you guys, I'm actually able to back them up with science. Uh, instead of grow science, because I'm actually studying nutrition and dietetics. And everybody's wondering what kind of car this is, previous time. This is a Fiat Doblo car. So it's basically like a, a caddy. It's not a regular sedan, it's not a hatchback, it's not a truck, it's not a van. It's in between, I don't even know what it is, but it's awesome. I'm driving to school right now, it's about one and a half hours that I need to drive every time, but luckily the classes are flexible, so when I decide not to go, nothing will happen as long as I make sure that I have a good grade at the end of the semester, I'm fine, but I cannot afford to stay home during projects and I don't want to because I like it, it's a lot of fun. And I learned the most from these days, so that's why I'm going to school right now. Uh, this morning I ate some oatmeal, actually some grits. I cooked them in some almond milk. I actually added some turmeric and zucchini. It's a nice recipe for guys who are dieting and are big eaters. Because when you're having breakfast, you want to eat a lot, right? So adding the zucchini to it, half zucchini, increases the volume of the entire meal, yet the calories don't go up at all. It only adds vitamins, minerals, fibers, and everything good coming from a vegetable. And it doesn't taste like a vegetable at all. And adding the turmeric will add antioxidants as well, and change the color to something appetizing. So, that was the first meal of the day. The second meal was uh, about 150 grams of white rice with 200 grams of mixed vegetables of which there were carrots, paprika and a little bit of uh, onion or scallions you know, we call them different in, uh, in Dutch but they're scallions, little onions uh, with some herbs, cayenne pepper, black pepper, curry powder and some salt, never forget the salt and some uh, white fish with some dill on it. I kept keeping the fat low because I talked about this the previous time in which I will elaborate on the ultimate diet video. When you eat a lot of carbs in one meal, keep the fats down. Carbs and fats together, that's what will cause, at least when you're in a deep diet, uh, not as good as an effect as separating the carbs and the fats. You do need your fats for the day, but don't combine them with high carb meals. That's all I'm saying. In the off season, it's not as bad because you want to gain weight anyway. But if you want to keep the weight off as efficiently as possible, using the carbs as fuel and using the fats for their healthy properties is what you want to do. And combining the two will um, change what the uh, fat will do and the carbs will do a little bit and that is when your fuel is full, your fuel tank, the carbohydrates are full and you still have some fat
fat the process, guess what will happen? The fat will go to your fat cells more easily than when you do it separately. So that's all I'm saying. So in about two weeks, I'm actually having another competition. This time I want to come in fuller and not as ripped. You know, you got to sacrifice one or the two. You cannot have both always. So what I want to do is come in a few kilos heavier, still looking tight because naturally I do have a lean physique. Uh, it'll stay lean for a long time, even with more carbs. So that's what I'm going to try. So it won't be as cut, but it will be bigger. And I will uh, see what chance I have in the super heavyweights. I'm again doing the junior class. This is the last year actually that I'll be able to do the juniors. So that's why I'm doing this last competition. Um, to see what kind of effect the rebound had, on which I will make another video. Using the rebound after a deep diet, deep cutting or a competition diet, you can gain a lot of muscle, quality mass, while staying re well, remaining lean, and that's what we want, right? Leanness. As you can see, I'm still pretty lean. But I've gained a few kilos. Of course, it's not muscle mass, it's mostly water uh, forced into the muscle cells, but that'll cause more hypertrophy and it will make you look fuller permanently if you do it right. Anyway, I'm going to arrive at school in 55 minutes and uh, when I'm going back, I'm going to show you my meal. Maybe I'm going to prepare it at home my pre-workout meal and some workout footage of course and uh, show me what I'm doing for pre-workout, post-workout, post-bed and my cardio. So that's all I'm going to come in this video up next. Alright guys, I am on my way home leaving the parking garage of the school that I go to. So. I actually got my meal with me right here, which I'm gonna eat. See right here, this is the Tupperware that I use. You can see it's 200 grams of fish, 200 grams, well actually 150 grams of white rice, 200 grams of vegetable mix with carrots, uh, some onions, and I'm actually also gonna use pumpkin soon, and I'm gonna explain to you why in the ultimate diet video but all in all those vegetables cause less gas in the intestines while still providing enough fibers right and enough micronutrients so if you eat a lot of broccoli cauliflower and other vegetables that have a lot of raffinose in them and raffinose is a sugar that your intestines do not have the enzymes for to digest so it'll cause gases in your intestines and that'll bloat you up and that'll cause malabsorption of the nutrients you're eating such as protein and that is not what we want now of course this only happens when you eat vegetables in large quantities but I did that I eat about 200 grams of broccoli or cauliflower uh, five times a day so that's a kilo of vegetables at least uh, every day and you know it adds up after a while and I did notice and if you want a flat stomach a flat stomach as possible it's all in the food it's all in the food so that's what I'm gonna eat in just a second after I get out of this city real unstable right now I like eating it on the highway and it's about 5 p.m. right now I actually like to eat around 4 p.m. but uh, we were still busy with the project at school so it was not possible because I like to work out around 6 in between 6 and 7 uh, p.m. and I like to eat at least uh, two, and a half, two and a half hours before working out so that my stomach is emptied enough especially when training legs which I will do today heavy squats, heavy hack squats or leg press, maybe some lunges, leg extensions and some calf raises and some shrugs. You know, you want those traps to grow. 
and um, yeah that's gonna be the workout I'm gonna do some cardio afterwards because there's only two weeks left before I'm gonna do my last competition for a while so it's gonna be a showstopper gonna improve my posing going to improve my shape gonna be fuller on stage a little less detailed but a lot fuller which uh, I'm gonna see if that is worth it compared to being very lean and dry because they were not like that at the golden era of bodybuilding it was all about the aesthetics the physique the beauty and the art of it and having shredded glutes is that really a part of the art I don't know so yeah that's gonna be my plan but anyway I've got one more hour to go until I'm home, probably more because we're traffic jammed, so I'm going to be enjoying this meal in just a few minutes, and then I'm going to train legs, so let's do it. Alright, I'm doing legs right here. I won't post the full workout in this video, or otherwise it will be a very long video, so if you want to see the complete hardcore leg workout, check it right here in the left corner but anyway the uh, leg day is basically consisting of starting with the regular basic back squats going heavy going deep and doing a lot of uh, sets basically to really fatigue the entire leg muscles but especially the quads and the glutes and I'm going as deep as I can for the hamstrings and then even changing my stance, so I first do a regular squat, then I do a wide stance squat. Basically targeting different angles to make sure I hit every muscle fiber in those legs. Then of course some leg extensions. And we only did three exercises for the legs themselves because we do a lot of sets with those, but I'll explain all of that in the video. And then we do some calves, starting out with the regular calf raise and then a special edition for some quality of the calves which I will also explain in the full leg workout video <laughs> Alright guys, so right now we're in the kitchen. This is going to be my post-workout meal for the lag training. My post-workout shake was simply 30 or actually 40 grams of whey isolate vanilla by side nutrition. Isolate absorbed very fast and about an hour later I'm having my post-workout shake. So that's, I mean my post-workout meal, so let's check it out. So this is some uh, white rice. Actually 250 grams cooked rice. What I added in here is some pineapple for the uh, bromelain, just very shortly sauteed it. These are some uh, uh, carrot cubes and these are some paprika cubes. They do not contain a lot of raffinos and I actually added some celery as well to get rid of some excess water. This is awesome rice, tastes awesome, absorbs fast for after the leg training. And then what we have here, some tuna steaks, which are due to turn around any second now. These contain a lot of protein, this is about 40 grams of protein, this is about 15, so that's enough protein after the leg training. So. Put a little salt in there, a little dill, and a little garlic in here as well, so that's going to be delicious. I want to show you how good this tuna looks, turn around. I know a lot of people like it rare in the middle, but I like it cooked all the way through. Putting this on the heat again, make sure it warms up. You don't want it to keep it warm the entire time because it will get mushy. So I'm heating it up for one last time and I'm going to show you how it looks on the plate in just a second. So this is the end result and it looks pretty awesome in my opinion. I always like to make my foods my meals look appetizing so that I look forward to them and I certainly do look forward to this one. Um, the rice is actually white but I use a lot of turmeric turmeric, for the antioxidants and it gives off a nice appetizing color. I also lose some, use some fresh ginger in here, some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, some salt and all together they uh, Give this meal a nice taste, give it a little bit of positivity in terms of antioxidants, 
vitamins, minerals, some extras, and the vegetables themselves do that as well. That's why I will pre-cook the rice, so I only have to add it after heating the vegetables for a short amount of time that preserves most of the vitamins and minerals, and then the tuna itself. I like it cooked all the way through and with a nice sear on the sides, and I use a minimal amount of oil, usually uh, rapeseed oil, rice oil, or coconut oil is what I use. They all can withstand high temperatures to be able to not uh, deteriorate like olive oil does. And it'll stay good. Actually has omega-3s in there as well and healthy fats. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy this meal right now. Thank you for watching guys and don't forget to check out the full leg workout. A lot more videos coming. And absolutely, don't forget to stay golden.